so coming onto my skin again, um, this is a lot paler than it was, but it's still, this, the crust on this has, um, gone. So it's just like, um, a stain or a blemish, a very light one. Um, it's blending into the skin a lot more, so it means that the skin's sort of healing and recovering and these are all and it's turning back into to skin again this blemish has well i scratched it yesterday this one has a bit of a top on it so it means it's also healing and the ones on the side they're still big but they're a lot lighter as you can see and this one's turning a crusted color so it might be healing a bit more so um, the one on the hand is really good um, as you can see there's still pigmentation but it's getting quite a bit less itchy and soon it might even be um, just normal skin again in another few weeks um, this one Still has some spots on the knees which are quite reduced and quite light. Um, this spot is almost just normal skin. It's just got some pigmentation and it's just a little stain. Um, this one's still a stain, but it um, is blending into the skin a lot more. It's a lot softer, um, so it seems to be reducing to more normal skin. And then the one on the back here is seems to be a little bit more reduced even though there's quite a bit of inflammation there still so um, this spot is my telltale sign um, it's it's also a lot more faded I don't believe that I've shown this spot very often but it was red and swollen and now it's a lot smoother and I can even go into my elbows my elbows were a disaster a few a month ago and it's as you can see there's a lot of there's a little bit there but it's been reduced a lot so um yeah my elbows another thing that I was trying to get better um it's really hard to film the back of an elbow but it's almost normal skin, as you can see, it's just pinky, a bit pinky, and before it was a lot more swollen. And the other elbow, who, which was not as much trouble, is also quite soft, and just a little bit of pinky on the tip of the elbow, really, and a little bit, tiny little bit of fakes. It's not actually very pigmented, and it's not very big so I would say that my skin's getting a little better um, and just looking at these legs um, this right leg was disastrous a few weeks ago but now it's looking a lot better a lot smoother and this one which only had a few lesions um, like this spot here and the knees here is almost just a normal leg again so um as you can see visually it's not as um ugly or the lesions aren't as red or angry looking um it's looking a lot clearer so i would say that it's it's the skin itself is getting a lot better um, the new product I've been trying, um, which I got for Christmas, is this pure nut macadamia oil. It's got mostly, I think it's made of almost 100%. It's got macadamia oil and seed oil. Integrifolia, which is macadamia seed oil. So it's made a macadamia seed um, and it seems to be good for the skin a little bit um, I've only used it a couple of times so far 
but it doesn't seem to inflame the skin and my skin even it might even be helping it a little bit more so I'm putting this body body oil on once a day as well um, simply because um, I ran out of this other cream so that's my next product that I'm using to try and make my skin good but um, I was also using this cream which is very good um, it's it's um, a hand cream and I was just putting it over the, the spots to keep it moisturized and this this actually worked very well in helping to he give the skin further healing and as you can see I've I've um, used the whole entire packet and I need to buy a new one but um, it does say it's for hands but I've been using it on my skin I like it's a very sweet and soft moisturizer but it it also helps reduce the skin a bit so um, I used all of it because it, it's so it's very good it's it's nice it's very nice moisturizer and it it is good for the skin so I used it on my hands and my body um, like my legs and stuff and it, it helped further reduce the the skin conditions and help to heal the skin a bit more um, and I used it used it all quite quickly um, and it's very cheap it only costs a few dollars from the chemist warehouse but this one's a lot more expensive I got this as a present um, and it seems to be good I'm not sure if it's going to help heal the skin um, of these little lesions and stuff but I'm trying it because when I was given it um, I was told that it's good f to treat little spots on, on skin like this. Um, so I've been using it only for one to two days. This one I've been using for two weeks and it's very good for the skin as well. Um, but this one I've been using for about two days and so I'm going to be using the whole bottle probably quite quickly and see how my skin goes with that. Um, there's always more than one product you can try to help heal your skin. Um, that's sort of what I'm trying to get into, sort of. Um, but it's good if you choose products to that will help treat dry skin, um, because um, the extra moisturizer seems to reduce all this inflammation and helps it go away, sort of thing. So I'm going to continue using products and showing how my skin is improving um, but at the moment I'm going to be using this macadamia oil um, mixed with using the Pam olive because I was using this one but it ran out so I'm going to be using the Pam olive um, which I've shown before but which I can show you again alongside the macadamia oil oh.